There are lots of tools, books, resources, blogs, and apps available to freelancers. But finding the right ones for your business and your budget can be a little overwhelming. After all, you shouldn't run your business based on the tools. First and foremost, you need to be a good freelancer with marketable skills and a system in place to help you run your business. Only then should you bring in the tools to improve your system, speed up the workflow, save you time, and help make you more money. Over the last few years, I've used my fair share of these tools and I have a pretty good idea of what works and what doesn't, at least for me. Obviously, every business is different and each freelancer is unique. So what I think is awesome might not be uh, awesome for you. So instead of throwing a list of dozens of tools at you right now, I'm gonna show you four tools that I really like and how I think they can help you in your freelance business. Dropbox. Probably the single most important piece of software I use to run my business, other than a code editor, is Dropbox. It's very likely that you use Dropbox already, and if that's the case, good on you. If you don't have a Dropbox account, or you've never heard of Dropbox, listen up, because you're missing out. First of all, Dropbox is totally free. There's an option to sign up for a premium version of Dropbox, but in all honesty, you probably won't need it. I use Dropbox to store all files for every project I work on. Organized by client. Dropbox is always backing up the files so I don't worry about losing important information and I can access the files from anywhere on any device which is great if you happen to be working away from your home computer. And sharing files with the client is a breeze. You can get a free Dropbox account at bradhussey.ca slash Dropbox. Trello. I use Trello basically 24-7. It's my all-in-one task manager, project manager. I manage my team, communicate with clients, track my progress and so much more. Check out Trello for free at bradhussey.ca slash use Trello. QuickBooks. I use QuickBooks to send estimates and invoices, track expenses, and keep all of my business financials in order. I added my accountant to my QuickBooks account, and when tax time rolls around, she makes sure everything is organized and tracked properly, and I get to just focus on growing my business. If QuickBooks is a little bit overkill for you right now, and you're just starting out, you can always check out Ballpark, which is a solid solution for new freelancers. You can get a QuickBooks account over at bradhussey.ca slash QuickBooks, or you can sign up for Ballpark at bradhussey.ca slash Ballpark. WordPress. WordPress is free, open source, and the most popular content management system on the web today. All of my client websites are built with WordPress because it's so easy to work with. The client loves it because it's so easy for them to update and manage their own websites as well. There are two flavors of WordPress. WordPress.org and WordPress.com. WordPress.com is a blogging platform, but it's not customizable to the core. WordPress.org requires a little bit of coding knowledge, but it's 100% customizable, and I highly recommend this when building client websites. Whether you want to learn to build custom WordPress sites from scratch, or you're a web designer and would rather not have to code anything, I have two courses on CodeCollege.ca that's going to help you with that. You can get access to all of my coding courses for 30 days for five bucks by simply visiting bradhussey.ca slash try for five. If you want to get a massive list with dozens of tools, apps, books, podcasts, websites, and more to help you grow your freelance biz, download my free seven step freelancing roadmap at bradhussey.ca slash seven step roadmap. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss next week's episode, which will be all about dealing with difficult clients. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you then.